Hey everyone, Security Dave here. Today we're going to be talking about securely sharing passwords and accounts in LastPass with a free LastPass account. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to assume that you have a your LastPass account logged in and ready to go, and you have some passwords that you'd like uh, to share with others. Now, to share passwords within LastPass, the share the person who's receiving the share is also going to have a LastPass have to have in a LastPass account. So if they don't, you should have them sign up uh, with videos that we've shown previously you know, and set up a LastPass account. So now this video is going to discuss the free account sharing. There are some limitations. You can only share uh, individual passwords with single individuals. You can share well, you can share groups of passwords with single with individuals, but you have to share them individually. Uh, with premium versions, you can do things like create folders that you have passwords saved into that automatically get uh, shared with groups of people. And you can do things like the setup of the families and sharing with multiple people uh, a single password. So you'll see what I mean when we get into this. So I'm going to share this Instagram password. Uh, so from your LastPass vault here, uh, you go to the sharing center on the left-hand side and typically it will default to manage shared folders. Unfortunately, this is a premium feature, so if you wanted to click add share folders, you can see you know, we have to upgrade to use this feature. But to share with others, you move over to this center option here, share with others, and you can share individual items. So now you wanna enter the recipient email address here, so I'm gonna use my own. Uh, and it won't let you share with yourself, so I'm gonna add uh, test1 to the end at gmail.com. Uh, now, if you wanted to allow the recipients to view the password, you can check this box and they'll be able to view the actual password within their password vault. Uh, you know, this is good if you're, I guess, if you're having, if you, if you share this and you want the person to be able to view the password, be able to uh, modify and change things and be able to, uh, you know, if it's a password or something that you, that you really trust and it's an account that you're both using actively, you know, maybe this is something that you'd want to allow. Uh, and then you can select from the dropdown what items you'd like to share. You can also type in, like I want maybe Instagram shared uh, with this user. So uh, you can also edit within here, uh, and this will show you the standard, it's the standard uh, page for editing a password. I'm not gonna go in through that. And you can also remove anything that you may have accidentally added to this list. So, you know, if you want to make sure that you have Instagram shared. So now I have secure with Dave uh, at plus test one. Uh, Google likes you can add pluses and extra aliases within Gmail addresses. Uh, so this will send it to myself and then it will send Instagram. So now when you hit share, since I have deselected the view password option, it will share with this email address and it will send them an email that I'll show you here in a second that allows them to click and add the item to your to their vault. So if you click over to, um, you can see that I have shared an item with myself essentially um, that says accept shared data would be, this is what they would click on to accept the uh, invitation to this uh, to this data, to this password, and this uh, this account. So now, if you didn't um, if you didn't click the share password, this will just add the data to their vault, and when they go to log in, it will give them the option to use this uh, address as the login information for this account. Um, you know, you you there's some certain um, obviously some. Uh, caveats here, like if you shared an account that requires multi-factor authentication, uh, that's not going to share obviously with them, so you wouldn't be able to share things like if you had set up your Google account, uh, your multi-factor authentication won't go over with it. Um, so that's that's basically sharing in a nutshell, but if you wanted to do explore some of the more options, you can, you can also see here when you go back to this shared with others, it'll show that this option is pending and it's shared with uh, this secure with Dave at test.com. Now, if I was trying to say, um, wanted to share this again, the problem with the free version is you can only share with one person. 
each account uh, as as the free version. So I can't add a second person to this share. Um, now, the other things that you wouldn't be able to do is creating shared folders. So like if you wanted to create, if you have the premium version and you wanted to create a folder that had all the items that you want in it, you can go to add new folder and you could say shared passwords. And then you can drag items that you want to share into this pass into this folder. And then when you go to the sharing settings, you can actually just share that folder and it will send the entire folder worth of passwords over to uh, the recipients. And when you update passwords, it'll automatically update on their end. Uh, there were some uh, kind of comments online about maybe passwords aren't updating properly. It looks like it may require a log out log in and log out kind of situation to update passwords within the plugin, uh, but this should give you uh, the information that you need. So after you've, the person on the recipient end has accepted, uh, you know, this, this shared with others will show out of a pending status and go into a full uh, shared mode. Now, if you wanted to remove the share, another thing is if you wanted to cancel the invitation, uh, I assume that when the person accepts, this will be a different, uh, you know, cancel cancel sharing. You can also select and do a cancel invitation, or if they lost it, you can resend the invitation. And so I'm going to cancel this invite. All right, and that's pretty much the simplicity of sharing, or a simple view at least, of sharing passwords within LastPass. Thanks for joining me in learning how to securely share your passwords and accounts in LastPass with your free LastPass account. If you have suggestions for video topics, please leave me a comment below or email me directly. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again.